Today recipe is anchovy yimi soup. Simple, straightforward and very delicious. This recipe is for one serving. The ingredients needed are 1 portion of dry yimi or dry egg noodles, 600 ml of chicken stock or plain water, half a cup of bean sprout, 75 grams of chicken slices, 35 grams of fish cake slice, one stalk of mustard green or sawi with the stem and the leaves separated, one over eight teaspoon of pepper, one over eight teaspoon of salt, one chicken egg, 35 grams of crispy fried anchovy. This is homemade. The link is in the description box. One tablespoon of chopped spring onion for garnishing. Two tablespoon of oyster sauce, quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, half tablespoon of crispy fried garlic and half tablespoon of garlic oil. We begin with boiling water. Switch on the heat, add in about 1 liter of water and bring it to boil. While waiting, let's marinate the chicken. Put all the chicken in the bigger bowl. Add in all the salt and pepper. And marinate it. Leave it aside. Alright, water is boiling now. Start with blanch the mustard green stem by putting it in the boiling water and cook it for about 45 seconds. Pick it up from the hot water and place it on the plate. Next, blanch the leaves, drop it in the hot water, spread the leaf out as they tend to clump together. After 30 seconds, pick it out from the hot water and place it together with the stems. Then, drop the bean sprout in the hot water. The bean sprout cooks really fast, so I will leave it in the hot water for just 20 seconds. Pick them up, put in the bowl, and leave it aside. Next, blanch the yimi. Drop it in the hot water as the yimi is crispy. Try not to stir it if it is still firm as it can easily break. Slowly turn it to another side to allow the hot water and the steam to soften it. After about 45 seconds, the yimi has softened slightly. Spread it around the pan for an even cooking. We will blanch it until the yimi is softened and about 70% cooked. Later on, when pour in the hot soup, the yimi's texture will be perfect. Not too uncooked, yet not too soft. After about one and a half minutes, the yimi is ready. Strain it through the strainer with the basin underneath. This is to separate the yimi and the hot water. Next, boiling the soup. Add all the chicken stock in the pan. Add in all pepper, sesame oil, and the oyster sauce. Give it a stir until well combined. Cover the lid and bring it to boil. While waiting for the soup to boil, Prepare the serving bowl. Put all yimi in the serving bowl. Use chopstick to loosen the yimi and separate the noodles that are clumped together. Place the bean sprout on the side and the mustard greens leaves and the stem. Leave it aside. Alright, the soup is boiling vigorously now. Add in the chicken. Give it a stir to spread the chicken pieces. Add in the fish cake and 2 tablespoons of crispy fried anchovies. We will use the rest for topping later on. Continue to cook until soup comes to a rolling boil again. This will take about 1 minute. After 1 minute, poach the egg in the soup. I have cracked the egg here and prepared a ladle that is big enough to cook the eggs. Use the ladle to scoop up a little bit of soup and pour the egg in the ladle. Please be careful not to drop the egg white into the soup or else it will become cloudy. Hold on to the ladle until the egg is cooked from the inside of the scoop. We can scoop the hot soup over the egg so that the egg white can be cooked faster. Once the egg white is cooked, Use the spoon to slowly separate the egg from the ladle. Alright, we have a lovely poached egg with a runny yolk inside. Remove the egg from the soup, put in the bowl and leave it aside. Switch off the heat and we can assemble the noodle soup. Put the fish cake and the chicken on the side of the bowl. 
add in the garlic oil, crispy fried anchovy, and crispy fried garlic. Pour all the soup in the bowl. Top up with lovely poached egg and some spring onions. That is all. A lovely yimmy noodle soup with crispy anchovy. So beautiful. See? The beautiful runny poached egg. Break it and mix it with the gravy. It is so delicious. Let's eat. Wow, so good. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed the video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.